me about the first time you walked on a stage to perform. It was terrifying. It, it was terrifying. <laughs> I think for everyone that be on the stage for the first time to perform is terrifying. Yes. But I think for me personally, when I was younger, when I perform, I don't really have that much nervousness in the beginning because you don't really know what to expect and you um, you just play what you know your teacher taught you to play and it wasn't like I'm trying to accomplish something through the music so I think that as I grow older actually I get more nervous playing music but also I I think I enjoyed it more because I know what I want to say through the music than I was younger so it's more rewarding if yes. There's more to accomplish. It's more hard, difficult, but at the same time, after you do it, it's more you you feel like you actually say something through yeah. the music. When you uh, up the stakes and play more complicated music, I feel an obligation, a responsibility to the composer yep. and to my peers if we're playing together that I must deliver on right. this. And there's a lot more to think about. and. That's a different kind of practicing. Instead of being sort of free and letting everything come out and let it, however it comes out, that's good. I have to control a little bit more. And then that, that then translated to when I was walking out on stage, you have all those thoughts before you play and yeah. you're trying to quiet your mind. Yes, yes. You know, as, as with anything complicated, it's not just with music. You need to quiet your mind and this voice in your head that's been helping you practice by saying, not that way, this way. You have to say, you're gonna have to be quiet for the next you know, if you 25 like that, minutes, let, please. Let go, yeah. <laughs> the so. only way to learn how to do that is to do it, to be on stage, because yeah. I can't, I couldn't repeat that, that fear or anxiety that I was having, energy that I was having, yeah. other than in performance. I think they have like a very core principle they're saying this is, is to let it go. Mm -hmm. But it's so easy to say though. Easy to yeah. say, but hard to, we spend so much time practicing before we walk out on stage. Yeah. I want to be satisfied too, I want the audience to be satisfied and enjoy. I want the, the, the composer to the responsibility obligation, but also to myself, we put in hundreds of hours and here's yeah. the payoff. And if it goes poorly, I feel like I didn't get a good return on my investment and yeah. I'm mad. You know? yeah. When I was young, I was very scared of my teacher actually, because she's a very strict teacher. And I still remember the first time when I saw her, it was in the Hong Kong Academy of Performing Arts. And I'm sitting outside the long corridor with all the practice rooms. And I, I would hear her like, yelling at her students about like how they didn't practice or something and i was just outside this young kid freaking out i remember very vividly my hand is all sweaty and it went fine because I, like it's our first lesson but she have a very high standard on me because she know that i if i really try i could deliver at the end at this stage i began to appreciate what she have done for me and i wish that i could even like if she could even push me harder in the beginning, mm -hmm. even then I might be even be more better in an even earlier stage. But, but we talked about this in uh, our percussion pedagogy class yeah. about the different approaches teachers can take. And you remember I used the Chopin example that yes. he had a very strict uh, teacher later in life, but a, a, a rather flexible, supportive teacher early in life. Yeah. And Chopin said the same thing that you just said, which is, I, I think, I, I can't imagine what I would have been like, you know, had I had a more strict teacher in the beginning, but he said, I don't think I would be playing music anymore. Yeah. So sometimes it's it's a balance. Uh, Sophia may have been strict, but she wasn't so strict that she choked the love of the of playing out, yeah. you know? And so it's a fine line to walk to- to The balance. To uh, have, help your students reach their potential, but yeah. at the same time, uh, not frustrate them to the point where they just don't enjoy the activity anymore and give up. It was great to have you here to be able to work with you, of course, but also the same thing that Sophia said would happen for you, the new perspective, yeah. it happens for us too, as teachers, but also your fellow students. Yeah. Uh, having international students in the studio makes a big difference because there's different literature, but there's also a different perspective on similar literature. Yeah. And uh, it's been very uh, helpful for the students to sort of broaden their perspective of what the music, uh, the world of music is. Yes. And so that's, it's been great to have somebody, uh, an international student here, uh, certainly somebody who's as serious a student as you are. Yeah. Thank you. What does mentorship means to you? And well, it's, it's similar to what you described in that the mentor in music sort of sets the foundation uh, or can. Music, like all professions, is a network. 
And it's a very interesting network in that there are different schools of performance and interpretation and philosophy. And so if you can establish mentors in these different schools, it expands your network. If right. you become isolated, your, your options are more narrow. So I found having mentors across uh, different fields. I had an orchestral percussionist teacher who was a mentor, a rudimental percussionist teacher who was a mentor, a jazz drummer who was a mentor. And this allowed me, helped me to navigate a diverse field of percussion, and I was able to uh, focus on being a generalist, that is, somebody who could play all the percussion instruments as opposed to being a singular orchestral player or just drum set or right. just hand drums, you know, a specialist. Yep. So for me, the mentorship uh, allowed for support to do these different things, but also expanded my network, my friends, and opportunities to play.